morning. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. And today, we all are gonna try a Vegemite from Australia again. We're gonna eat it the proper way. Everybody said we ate it the wrong way. No wonder we hated it, we ate it the wrong How way. How should we eat it? We're supposed to put a thin layer on toast. Butter? Yeah, butter. but hot butter and Vegemite no, on toast. No. It's, it's, it's B vitamins, it's good for you. We're gonna try it. We are all gonna try it. Even if I have to pay my kids to try it. Ooh, $100? So okay, Sophie Gabby's like, okay. $100 is too much. 50? 50 is too much! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I might have to bribe them. Anyways, maybe they could get out of chores. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not you don't have to do school? No, you have to do school. But we are gonna try it. I promise you, we're gonna try it today and see what happens when we try it the proper way. But. Literally poison is poison as far as I'm concerned because I can't imagine it tasting any better just because we added toast. It's freezing. Like, tomorrow's supposed to be warm but rain. We're like a month behind in our weather. Usually in Canada, we start to feel warm by April. It's like March still. It's like... <sighs> can you guys see it? I can see it. Oh, I love it. So, yep, it's here. So, uh, Gab, Sophie and I are going to have lessons in our arena today. So, Sam, it looks the most level it's been. It looks gorgeous. I was not going to ride today because I can't ride in that saddle. Like, it's way too small and it perches me. Like, it, it pitches me so I'm sitting unsteady in the saddle and it's just not like... It. Uh, and the only reason I know that I can't ride in that saddle is because I rode in that Aussie saddle and it was a 17 inch and it might be a little small but it felt like heaven. It put my whole entire body in such a good position that when my horse started cantering up a hill, I just put my toes up and I just sat there. Like, it was amazing and that's what I need. So I've been looking at them and we've been trying to find one. So I didn't wear my riding pants this morning because I'm not gonna ride. I never know how the horses are gonna come out of their stall in the morning and yesterday, Stella did the most amazing little dance. Okay, horse number one. Everybody wanna sing, sing, sing. You're a winner when you sing, sing, sing. I've got a song. You hum along. And we have fun. Aw, Stella goes between Finn and Willow to keep Finn safe. Like, she really is it's always thinking. Such a nice girl. No, she moves to hay, to hay, to hay. No, she knew Finn was coming and she moved so that Finn, she was between Finn and Willow. And Phil and, Finn and, and Willow. She's gonna move hay soon. She's a good girl. All right, let's do it. Chores, because we all have lessons today. All right, another new question for you guys. So I've seen a lot of people say things like when their horse is super dirty in their stall, they put less shavings in and then they learn their lesson and then they get more shavings back. How does that work? What does it mean? Why, like that just doesn't even make sense to me. Obviously a horse is not gonna know, hey, you're being punished because you pee too much. Like, so one thing I noticed today is that I did put less shavings in thin stall yesterday because um, when I'm getting to the end of a set of shavings, like when I want to clean the whole um, thing out, I will let it go like two days and then like I'll clean the stall and then not put any fresh ones in because I know that the next day I'm going to take all the rest out and then put all fresh stuff in. It's kind of my way of just like cleaning it out all every few days so that it's all fresh and all new. And um, so that was yesterday and today when I came, he hardly peed in his stall. He drank lots and his stall was like pretty clean compared to normal. So what the heck does that mean? Like, did, is that really a thing? How does that work? Um, yeah, I really want to know. All right, so. Sophie does not want to just ride Finn around in circles today. She's having her lesson here. So she wants to set up a bunch of poles. And we found like some poles around our property. Do you guys think that would be too big for like a, no. a pole? You can even jump logs. That's like fine. Also, can we use those little jumps? Those little poles? Yeah. Yeah, like they don't have to be huge, right? She's like, I can't jump the little one, or I can't walk the, I, I can't use the little ones, but yeah, like, I you feel can. like. It's all about just steering in the middle. Is it? Yeah, steering in the middle. Not my strong suit. Bye, guys. Bye, horses. See you later. See you at lunchtime. Look at our poop pile. That's a lot of poop. Guess what Willow let me 
me do? What will it let you do? Walk up to her. Oh, good. She did not run away. Fun, fun when we're moving to the beat. This kind of song makes you belong to something greater, something that makes you want to sing. All you Aussies out there are telling me that we're eating, we ate the veggie veggie mite wrong. So we are gonna try it, all of us. And there's gonna be a winner. There's gonna be a prize for the winner. Whoever eats every single bit of their piece of toast is gonna win money. Okay. But it's burnt. I know. I, it was, Give I me can't. It. Wait, you're supposed to wait for all of us. Dad. It's not the first one done. It's just whoever eats all of it. Sure, take the small one. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the first bite kind of tastes good. It no. tastes like <laughs> dead raccoon. <laughs> tastes like Ruby, you want some toast? Ruby likes it. <laughs> You want more, Ruby? It's got an aftertaste. <laughs> she liked it. She oh. No wonder she likes it. It tastes like dead raccoon. <laughs> it tastes like roadkill. Oh. Okay, where's my money? I want. <laughs> I want to like it. I want to like it because it's like a good source of B vitamins, and I lack vitamin B12. But yeah, no, it's not good. It's it's. I could see you. I <laughs> Oh. I just shoved it in. Yeah, you did. All right. Hey, where's my money? You see me? All right, let me get my money. I think I got the one with the most stuff. <laughs> what? I think I got the one with the most stuff. Sit down there beside your sister. I'll give you guys some money. Not beside me. Sam, sit down there. I'm going to give you guys all your money. No, that's cents. It better not be cents. 25 cents for you. 25 cents for you. Oh, I'll take it. Sophie, I never said how much money I was going to give you. I said I was going to give you money if you made it. Is it worth crying over? Yes. <laughs> it was that bad, wasn't it? Here, wash it down with a little bit of chocolate. A lot. No, 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 no. Put your hand down so I can see. You're going to make it equal here. Here, Sophie, come get some chocolate. Does it get rid of the aftertaste? To any of you guys who actually eat that stuff and like it, kudos to you, because I want to like it, because, yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's bad. It's horrible. It's horrible. Hi, Stella. You looking for food? Hi, Stella. Oh, you're so pretty. Are you warm? Because I'm cold. It's okay. This camera's not gonna bite you, but look at how pretty you are. Oh, there's, there's with Miss Willow. You guys ready for food? You guys only like us for food. Yes? <laughs> yes, you're ready for food? He's a baby. He is a baby. He's such a chicken. So somebody was saying, you know, it's not good to have Willow in the same field as him because it's been long enough for them to adjust and they haven't. He's like, forget the ball. We decided to have our license tomorrow. When I woke up this morning, I was dreaming, and somebody said, don't ride today. And then I was like, I woke up saying, okay, I won't ride today. <laughs> and I'm like, superstitious or something, because 
I'm like, I don't want to ride today. <laughs> but anyway, it works out better for our trainer for tomorrow. It just happened that way, so uh, yay. <laughs> but um, our trainer's gonna bring her Western saddle. I don't want a Western saddle, and this is why. Why don't I want a Western saddle, do you know? No idea. Um, my trainer found a really nice Aussie Western sa or leather saddle, but I want a light saddle for Stella. I don't want her to have one that's really heavy. heavy. They hum along. And they have fun, fun, fun when they're moving to the beats. And it gets you in a dancing flow. And moving gets so easy, feeling easy to me. And it makes you kicking up what's so. And living gets so easy, it's easy. And again and again and again and again and again and again, I play it. I definitely noticed that Stella is a ball hogger. You see Finn's looking for food on the ground, just trying to get anything he can find and Stella's got the whole ball to herself. Uh, we always show you guys what happens during the day when we go down to the barn and we're ready to go down to the barn now. Um, so we're gonna show you what we do at night. First, Ruby has to get her coat on because it is cold. Sophie, you got everything you need? Yeah, I'm even wearing my shoes. All right, are you ready? Those are not good shoes. Are you ready? Are you ready to roll? We just got back from Gabby's riding lesson. It was amazing. And then we came home and we had to edit. Sam and I have been editing. We both picked videos to edit. And then um, Gabby has to play SSO for Kate with Kaylee. So Same. does Sophie. They always do that at night. But anyway, we're gonna go down and see our poor, our poor little horses. Stella's gonna have to get a blanket on. It's cold again. Everybody singing oh, everybody singing oh. I love it when we come down and we have like little heads sticking over. No, Finn was there first. Yeah, Finn was has his head over first. Was like, was that real okay? So our uh, our barn nighttime hack is that we have everything okay. ready for. Oh, none for them. The only one that doesn't have hay is Stella. Bye-bye, sugar. All right, we are ready. All right, reverse order, people. Go close the door, so. Finn first. Finn first? Wait, does Finn go into his own stall by himself? Yeah. In and out, in and out. Wait, Dad's got water going in. Sometimes you have to give him the tune-up. Look at Stella, she's like, I'm going first. I don't know what it is about you. Be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Now I'm moving closer to you. And it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you wanna do. Baby, let me love you. Let me love you. Let me love you. Let me love you. Baby, let me love you. Let me love you. Alright, once the horses are done, we take their bowls. I know some people leave their bowls in. She loves her window. Like that's what she does in there. Um, some people leave their bo their bowls in, but we don't. Just because they have those handles, it makes me nervous. Yeah, right. if they did not have the handles then, it would be good. Alright, is Finn's ready? Um... Finn moved his bucket in and he's still eating. Guys, so, <coughs> just before we let the ponies in, when I was running around, well, like in the arena, Ruby ran in front of Finn, and Finn started cantering, and he went with his front feet. And wow. And we up, play fight with her. Wow. 
So, um, Sam is cleaning up the arena, being proactive, because this is where Sophie's going to have her lesson in the morning. We didn't have it today. And we always unplug the fence at night. And I'll empty this water in the morning and we'll get fresh water. <laughs> and we close the door. Are you going to put that salt lick in Finn's? Yes. So this salt lick has been, they've been licking it, guys. They have been licking it. It is gooey and gross. So Finn's going to take a turn and have it tonight. I'm going to get some more of those. You can order those on Amazon. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.